epic stories, beautiful worlds and inventive haircuts. Here are the 10 best JRPGs to play right now on PC. While we've already listed our favourite RPGs on PC, there's something inherently different about the ones that come out of Japan. This means they get a list all of their own. Highly stylized and more linear than Western RPGs, JRPGs tend to focus on set characters to tell twisting, often heartbreaking stories where style is just as important as substance. And in this video, we've rounded up 10 of the best, from old school essentials to new twists on old systems, all to give you the very best Japan has to offer. Here, in no particular order then, are the 10 best JRPGs to play on PC. Are you nuts? This isn't good at all! Chrono Trigger is often quoted as one of the best JRPGs of all time, but despite releasing in 1995, it was only made playable on PC in 2018, and it had a bit of a rough start. Thankfully though, after a raft of updates, it's now been restored to its former glory, showing off legendary sprite work that's aged surprisingly well. In standard JRPG fashion, what starts as a fun day out at the local fair soon descends into chaos as you meet a mysterious girl and start jumping through time after an invention goes awry. Typical. It's a classic example of a SNES-era RPG, with turn-based attacks and a narrative that places the small matter of the fate of the world in your hands. It also features a stirring chiptune soundtrack and characters with an amazing amount of depth. It may have been around for almost a quarter of a century, but the level of finesse and invention mean that Chrono Trigger still holds up. And as well as being the pinnacle of the genre for the time, it's worth experiencing if only so people stop acting surprised when you tell them you haven't played it already. The Tales of series has been running since 1995, with 16 main entries and numerous spin-offs. But the recent remaster of Vesperia shows off the franchise at its best, and it's all thanks to its likeable main hero, Yuri. With his long black hair and characterful swagger, he looks like the typical, brooding JRPG protagonist. But he's actually incredibly warm, with a strong sense of justice. Vesperia has all of the things a classic JRPG story should. Bad guys pulling the strings from the shadows, ancient tech that's being misused, and a princess with hidden powers. It may seem a little cliched at first, because, you know, it sort of is, but the thrilling, action-based combat and likeable characters make you want to see the story through to the very end. The Definitive Edition also adds some cut characters that previously never made it out of Japan, and some new music. If you only ever try one Tales game, this is the one to go for. Alright, let's get going. You can't have a list of the best JRPGs without featuring at least one that entrusts the fate of the nation to a class of school kids. At least in this case, they're all high achievers that specialise in magical weapons at a military academy rather than, you know, directionless nobodies. As Reen and his classmates navigate the school year and develop relationships between classes, they adventure across the Erbonian Empire to see the effects of a burgeoning civil war between the nobility and commoners. There's even time to plunge into the depths of the old schoolhouse to find the secrets hidden within. Despite its rather obvious setting and youthful characters, the story is mature and there's a genuine surprise ending that sets things up nicely for the sequel. And while only the first two games in the series are available on PC right now, there are four in total. So start now and you might be done by the time they arrive. Rest in peace. Officially the prettiest game on this list, if Nino Kuni 2 looks like a Ghibli movie, that's because it is. Well, sort of. 
The first Nino Kuni was made in conjunction with the legendary animation studio, and the second game has retained that style, even though Hayao Miyazaki and co. had nothing to do with it. The music is also composed by the famed Ghibli composer Joe Hisashi, so it even sounds right. It's the perfect accompaniment for following the young King Evan as he establishes a kingdom of his own, rallying citizens to his cause and travelling to some amazing places such as Goldpaw, a gambling city where major decisions are made by dice roll. And while this is the second game set in this world, very little ties the two stories together. So you can safely play this even if you missed the original and still enjoy the incredible story and improved action-based combat. If you like your JRPGs a little more strategic, then the Disgaea series is the one for you. The second entry has the best story of all five games, a bright, engaging tale of revenge that sees hero Adele trying to lift the curse on its hometown that's turned everyone into demons. As you might expect, nothing is as simple as it looks, and you're joined by a headstrong demon girl and a lecherous frog in your attempt to destroy Overlord Xenon. With exploding penguins and a washed up rock star to contend with, it's all very silly, making this the most light hearted game on this list despite the deep strategy elements involved in building your party. It also has some dizzyingly complex levelling options. Is grinding to get high-powered characters not enough for you? Then jump into the randomly generated item world within weapons, yes, actually within them, to level them up too. Code Vein is the most recent game on this list, and while it might not be remembered as fondly as Chrono Trigger 25 years from now, it's still a great example of a modern JRPG with a focus on action. You play as a vampire-like revenant exploring a fallen world full of lost creatures, searching for answers about how you ended up in this predicament and to find a way to clench your bloodthirst. There's a clear Dark Souls influence on display here, from the iron hard bosses to the leveling up system. But under all of that, it's a JRPG at heart, complete with amnesiacs and tragic backstories. What it lacks in finesse, it makes up for in heaps of gothic style, as well as a character creator that's so detailed you can adjust the shininess of your hair. And to think, we almost got through a whole JRPG list without mentioning hair even once. So close. You officially can't have a best JRPG list without mentioning Final Fantasy. And while it was a huge struggle to narrow ourselves down to just one game, when each one in the series has its own unique charms, Final Fantasy XII is our favourite on PC because it's the best way to see all of the little details in its unique style. It also has the most out there battle system of all the Final Fantasy games, with you lining up moves, or gambits as they're known here, before letting everything go, seeing how it all shakes down. It's a strategic system that sees you stacking different, often very specific triggers to make sure all of your party members mesh together immaculately. The skill comes in the tweaks you make to continuously improve your gambits for various situations. And on top of this, it's worth playing to learn why everyone still swoons over Balthier 12 years on. Who are you? I play the leading man. Who else? A modern love song to the era of sprite-based JRPGs, Octopath Traveler and its tilt-shifted world feel like a real nostalgia trip. The effect of 2D sprites in a 3D world is stunning and beautifully captures that hazy feelings of games gone by. It's also not content to give us just one story, instead Octopath Traveler has eight intertwining tales that each follow a different character's journey through the same world. It makes for a refreshing approach as you explore the world from different perspectives. Each character also interacts with the world differently. Alberic the warrior, for example, can provoke townspeople into fighting him, while Tressa the merchant can shop from them, opening different paths to each character. There's definitely room for improvement with how each path interacts with the others, but Octopath Traveler is worth it just to explore a world that feels like a tear-stained love letter to the classic JRPG. Thou didst fight
Okay, so maybe the Atelier series isn't well known for its inventiveness or peerless quality, but that's sort of why we love it. It's pure, predictable JRPG comfort food. While other games may content themselves with saving the world, Atelier Sophie is all about making friends and doing your grandma proud by working hard as an alchemist. Your main aim is to collect materials through exploring and some mild battling before bringing it home to chuck into a big pot to make everything from bagel sandwiches to ice bombs. While all of the Atelier games follow the same format of Nice Girl Makes Knickknacks in Big Cauldron, Sophie is our favourite purely because the stakes are so low. There's no hidden evil, no apocalypses, no amnesiac heroes, you really are just helping out a friend. Even if that friend is a talking book and your assistant turns her into a barely dressed doll. Oh, you have a name! I'm Sophie. Finally, let's close this list with Dragon Quest XI, the latest entry in the venerable JRPG series. The formula for these games has remained cheerfully unchanged since 1986. While Final Fantasy reinvents itself with every entry, Dragon Quest retains the same jovial style, silent protagonist, and turn-based battles it's had since the beginning. And that stubbornness has worked in its favour, as the genre has come full circle in recent years, making its more traditional elements feel fresh when compared to the overcomplicated battle systems of other titles. These paired back elements also help you keep your focus on enjoying the story, which in this case involves your hero discovering his identity and stopping, as you might have guessed it, an ominous threat. Well, is there another kind? With bright art, some amazing regional accents, and monsters with giant goofy smiles slapped on their faces, you know you're in for a good slime with Dragon Quest 11. And that's your lot, 10 of the very best JRPGs on PC. We've laughed, we've cried, and we've overthrown a lot of shady organisations in the process. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, let us know your JRPG favourites in the comments below, and please remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when our next video lands.